Before I begin this video, I'd just like a moment of silence for all of the filthy casuals that attempted to stream snipe me and died. Rest in peace. Let's go and hit the cap with range at rock crabs. <laughs> we're only going to get one level, so I'm just going to get 84, uh, and then we're going to go PK in. 84 range has been acquired. Oh, there we go. We don't have enough XP to get the next level. It's all good, though. We're just going to go PK in now and hit the remainder of our cap while doing so. But this 81 mage is very interesting. I think a lot of the people that I'm going to fight, as soon as I drop the TB on them, they're going to panic and try to run. So if I end up getting in a bit of trouble, I'm just going to throw a TB. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw the TV and hopefully they fuck up. Hello? Okay. So the backstory to this fight right here is basically I was live on Twitch and these guys actually stream sniped me. Confirmed afterwards they did stream snipe me. Apparently they were after the infinity boots, that's why they were coming up to me and they stream sniped me for, I'd say for well over an hour. And I will let you see exactly what happens when stream sniping goes wrong. 101. Let go. He dropped his whip, are you fucking kidding me? He dropped his fucking whip, dude. I can't click to save my life right now. Pepe the pig, bro, you panicked, you dropped your whip. Good job, man. I'd have probably done the same thing if I was clamming my mood, to be fair. Good fight, dude. Mate, I'm playing so bad right there, Jesus Christ. Give me that fucking whip, dude. That's disappointing. That should have been a whip PK right there, boys. Feels bad. Hopefully. The key's something good. Anything? Two mil? Uh, d what the? D d okay, well that makes up for it. I don't even care about the whip at this point. Thank you very much for the two mil key, dude. Appreciate ya. TYVM, TY. Don't. It's too late now, mate. What did he have? S runners? Okay. Oh, hello. You don't mind if I quickly trade in my, um, my herbs? Runner seeds are so cheap. I'll take those, though. There's quite a few. Let's take a look inside this key. 91k? Hmm? Definitely worth the kill. I'll take it. Nice. Man, this is a big kill if we can get it. <gasps> I'm so bad! Oh my god, did you really just take my kill, bro? Well, I, I kind of fucked up, I guess. Not with this guy, by the way. I don't know who this is. I think these were the guys that were on me before. Get him, boy! Get him! Don't let him freeze you. For the love of god. Oh my god, he's gonna gym. Oh, oh. I don't know this guy, but hopefully that's my- God damn it, dude! Are you serious? Oh, I literally fucked up for one click and tried raking a patch. And that just like lost me that whole kill there. God damn it. Sort me out, man. I can't believe that just happens. Wow. Nice split. Man, I might as well just take what's on the floor. It's probably more than what he's giving me right now. I mean, it's better than nothing. Oh my god, I'm taking that brew. I think this took like an entire day to get these emblems. Like it honestly took me ages. I sat in the G for four hours, four or five hours today, and nobody was selling emblems. We finally have enough now to buy ourselves the rune pouch. In before the next clip is me getting G mauled out for it. That's gonna be so depressing if that does happen. Up until this point, we have been a tank range slash mage. All I've had is 84 range and also 80 magic. So I've had flames of Zami and also just range, and it's been working out pretty well, to be honest with you, but Ancients is being released in little under an hour from now, so I decided to pour the rest of my experience into melee. I'm probably just going to leave it at 50 attack so I can equip to G more, and then just slowly but surely train my strength up, probably up until like 80 or so or something like that. There you go, that's the cap for today. But I think what we'll do is we'll just stick with this build and I'll just put the rest of my cap into strength and uh, eventually we should be able to get pretty close to level 80 and we're gonna have pity as well so you know we should be able to g more people out quite easily because at the at this point in time people know me as the tank ranger so they don't expect to g more like when they equip their robes and when i'm just there attacking them with range they have absolutely no expectation of me g more at all so i'm gonna be a little bit sneaky and uh, yeah hopefully we can get some kills with this so I'm guessing you guys remember me saying that it took me basically the majority of a day to get myself that rune pouch. It pretty much did. I think I was at the Grand Exchange for a total of four hours, went PKM for about two, and then luckily things just started to buy off the Grand Exchange. So it probably took around about six hours in total. Well, you remember me saying about if I die in the next clip, that's going to be really depressing. I didn't get G-Mauled out. 
In fact, I probably died in the worst way possible that I could actually think of. I'm gonna let this clip play out so you guys can see what happens. And oh my goodness, like, I wasn't scold, I wasn't scold at all or anything like that, so like, I wasn't gonna get reset, I wasn't worried about that. This dude managed to hit two debolt procs on me, back to back, 45-42. The fuck. I was actually, like, at this point, I had to log out of dead man mode. I wasn't even sure if I was going to continue playing. That's how bad it was. I was just like, I've just died in the most BS way possible. I don't feel like playing this game right now. But god damn, am I glad that I did continue playing. We did rebuild. I had dragon legs, etc. in the safety deposit box. So I could very easily get my stuff back. Wasn't a problem at all. It was just the motivation. After dying to two D-Bolt procs in a row, it's like, come on, man. Like, what? Are the chances of that happening but oh well shit happens it's all good oh hello my friends you do realize we're in a um australian world though bro what's up buddy here's your clan memo to come and back you up i love it what are you saying i'm on rakesy's side hey what a beauty this guy's straight luring into morty man making me use all my runes on him and before the g mall love it This guy out. Good fight, dude. Please be an abyssal whip. Ooh, juicy lootations. Dragon boots, very nice. I'll take those. Like 200k plus. You didn't make it a Morty. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. He had a D skimmy. What was he doing? Australian world, man. He fucking planked it, dude. Granite more, we got our G more. Let's go. Thanks for uh, the moral support, bro. Much appreciate, Kimbo. Appreciate it, man. That's Australian worlds for you. Anyways, let's see if you mules. Let's see if you had a big key or not. 147k. Uh, I don't know if that was a mule or not, but you know what? It's not too bad considering the loot we got as well. I'll take it very happily. Are you on me, Chode? You go up. You go up. You go up. You step. Chode. Chode. You betrayed my trust, bro. God damn chode. Fucking chode, man. Why'd you gotta do this, chode? You fucked it up, dude! You fucked it up and then you attacked me, man. Come on. Not cool. What are you playing at, chodester? My boy chodester completely betrayed my trust there, dude. Not cool, chode. Good old chode. Does he have flowers? Oh. Oh, rookie. Rookie! Good luck. Uh, sure. I guess. Why not? So this guy here asked me for a fight. I wasn't entirely sure whether he was referring to an actual death match or just a hybrid fight, to be honest. There were no rules. Nothing was, like, specified at all or anything like that. I believe this guy said that he had five brews after we'd had the fight. And, yeah, it was actually a really good fight. I think this was the first, like, proper hybrid fight I've had where we were away from the bank and the guy was happy to be away from the bank. I'm guessing, most likely, this guy, his time was coming to an end on Dead Man Mode, so he just wanted to go out in style, basically. And I was streaming at the time, so, you know, it was a good fight. I put on a good show for the chat and such. Good fight, man. Good fight. Respect, dude. Actually stayed until the end, man. Mad props to this dude. God damn, he actually stayed until the very end. Good fight, my man. Good fight. I think most people would run in that scenario, so huge respect to that guy. How much did he have in the bank? Let's go. 633k. That's actually a really good key. The guy didn't mule either. Wow. That's a really nice key. I will take it. Thank you very much, mate. Oh! Didn't pay off, man. That 60 strength feels bad, man. And that's his escape. Oh my god, one more big hit. One more big hit. Don't did we get him? Oh my god, we got him! What the fuck, dude? Oh, holy shit. I don't feel like we should have got that kill right there. He had lobsters. He had lobsters. Wow. I really didn't think we were going to get that. People, when they run here, it's basically over. Oh my god, we actually got that kill. Good fight, dude. Filthy hits, mate. Filthy hits. Oh, mate, that could have been our first G-Mall fucking kill right there. We still got it. Come on. 
Oh, mate, that strength level just not coming through, sadly. Is he out? I think he's out, dude. What the hell? I think he's really close to being out. Good fight, dude. Good fight. There you go. Good fight, my man. Let's go. Another kill to the collection, boys. Let's go. Is there something good in these keys? <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Fuck! What is this? Fucking steel tea? This is a joke, man. That's not a mill key. Oh my god. That is like the worst mill key I have ever seen. What the- that- that is hands down the worst mill key I've ever seen. What the fuck is that? One mill my ass and a 600k key. Ah! There we go. That is actually a- almost a 700 key. I like it. Very nice. It's the same people, man. <gasps> oh my god, we just killed that guy laughing my ass off! Oh my god, Abyssal Whip, 63 strength. I'm actually creasing right now. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's hilarious, dude. That's actually hilarious. Fucking 63 strength. Gmore coming in. Let's go. Let's fucking go, boys. Oh my god, that is so good. Rune Knives. What a fucking champ, dude. <laughs> that really just happened. <laughs> 63 straight straight in the forehead man. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious, dude I imagine this key's gonna be a big one. So let's have a look free mill. Holy shit Free mill key obsidian cape dragon plate skirt. Oh my god. We're probably the richest person in game right now I, I really don't know what any of this is worth But we are incredibly rich right now. Like just look at how many runes we have We've got 170 D bolts. This is like a mill alone in D-Bolts. And then the bank itself, like, we are absolutely stacked. I've got so much stuff at this point, like, I've just got items in here, like, mystics and whatnot, like, ancient staffs, which I just can't do anything with. And there you have it, guys. That has been the last few days of Deadman Mode for myself. Got insanely lucky in some scenarios. I, I still can't believe right now, to this minute, that I managed to g more that hit with 63 strength. 63 strength just let that sink in like i can't even equip to d skimmy with the stats i have like that is the level of shit melee stats i'm talking but anyways guys i do hope you've enjoyed today's video i tried to make it exactly as i did the last one i'd say it's been at least 10 minutes of pure pk and so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that and with that being said guys i would like to quickly just say a massive merry christmas to all of you i hope you guys have a good christmas this year enjoy time with family friends etc have a good one and with that being said guys if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new to the channel and i will see you very soon